Hello and welcome slash welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Charmaine Diamond White and as you can tell today I am not in drag and that is because this is episode one of our brand new series on the channel. We've decided to turn our garage into a bar so we thought it'd be a great idea to bring you guys along with it and show you the process. So we were vaguely discussing on the Friday a long time ago now back in July. Yeah. I think and we kind of thought we've got this giant space it's seven by three meters and it's got electric to it it's got water to it and we weren't using it it was just a derelict space yeah and we were like why not just do something fun with it i don't remember how the conversation came out about it exactly but we were talking over dinner with greg's mum and she just basically said like if you want the garage you can have it and, and so we did and the first thing that came to greg's mind was let's build a bar Obviously. That was on the Friday, come the Sunday, we started. We've both been in construction, me mainly, and then Greg has dabbled with it in and out throughout his life with his dad. We thought between us we could definitely pull it off and it's a great little project to get us sort of like, you know, especially if you're in summer, it's now winter. It is now winter, yeah. So between us we thought with our experience, like how hard really can it be? So we were thinking for some time about names, weren't we? We know we wanted something a bit kind of tongue in cheek, a bit of a pun, um, something a bit... Yeah. Like that? Yeah, a bit like that. <laughs> and but we, we didn't want it to, like, the something tavern or... The something... You wanted it to be called the Titty Tavern at one point. Yeah, I did. Or the cock in. <laughs> or the cock in, right. So we wanted to do something a little bit funny, a little bit silly. And it wasn't until I was mentioning it to uh, my friends at work and a lady I work with, Sally. So shout out to Sally for this Thank absolutely you, inspired idea. I'm mildly annoyed by it too. Yeah, because we were so gutted we didn't think of it. We were so angry. But obviously because our names are Glenn and Greg, she was like, why don't you just call it the G spot? Love inspired that. Love, love that. that so yeah i remember you texting me and i was just there like cool we've got the name yeah um, that was like it was as soon as we heard it we were like okay set on that that's camp you may have already seen that we're on instagram it's at finding the g spot we have lots of updates progress pictures uh you can sometimes see greg doing some work uh mainly me doing the work and I like to post the odd story. You do like to post the odd story. I like it's, to be the social media manager. It's more live content of like us day to day doing it and how it's going and little things that we get. So without any further ado, this is going to be Cam. <laughs> Roll the titles. I'm Glenn. I'm Greg. And we're turning our garage into a bar. Paul's most exclusive invite only venue. Because it's in our garden. I saw that. Ah. So join us on our journey to make it feel less like rubbish anal. And more like... The cheese bar. So my dad built this about 30, 35 years ago. It was originally built for the purpose of a garage, but as you see later on in the episode, that was not to be. So he started using it as a bit of a party space. It did originally have a shed on the back as well, um, where he'd have like bands and stuff playing. And it was an entertaining space. It became a bit of a dumping ground for old furniture, home renovation, debris, and old toys and things like that. But as you can see, it is quite a large space. So in 2020, the roof caved in during a storm. So we quite literally had to work our way from the outside in. This is actually my first time opening this door and having a look inside. Greg's told me about the garage and I've, we've never really had any reason to go down there. You know, now we're doing this, had a look and oh my God, like you can't even get in there. It's my first time opening that door in about 15 years. I'm not happy about this. You are. But I am happy about this because it's going to be look cool after, but. It does stop worked. Um, I don't know where to start. Well, just start. The ceiling that came down could, um, could do with that. Do with taking out. But you're starting with the fan. Great no, start, just... excellent. Have you? Thanks for that. Holy shit. You don't drink it. 
What was I joking about? Uh, like this crap. Yeah, that's all the insulation, I thought. Well, I don't know what that no, is. No, that's the, um, some of it the insulation, some of it's the, it's the gravel and the stones on top of the roof. Oh. Uh, all the chippings. It's a brand new roof, though. We don't have to do anything to that. That's a plus, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> we just got the old Big one that plus. collapsed. That's fun. Okay. I That's insulation. Oh. It's walkable now, well done. I'm going to go get changed. Yeah. Look at that. I can stand in here too now, and now I'm really scared. Spider, spider. Start realising what? So, that is running water from the mains, I believe. This one? No, the sink. Yeah. This is a water heater, I believe. Yeah, isn't it? It's hot water. It's boiling water straight up. Yeah, Kef, I don't know how like safe that is. I don't know what that is at the top, but I think I've always thought that was cute. I don't know what it is. It's like art deco way. Well, that can be your little... Um, we can repurpose it into something, can't we? You can repurpose it into something. You clean it up and then you can go to the bottom of the bar. You can turn it upside down, it looks like a diamond. Look how proud of yourself you are. I hate that. Um, so this is it, like inside now we're actually in. Oh, I don't know whose bike that is. I think that might be my brother's from like the 90s. Oh my God, can we keep that? That was a present from um, Olympia. It was, I must have remembered to thank them. This door has not been opened in about 30 years. Literally 30 years. It was originally put in by my father because we've got this little like bit at the end of our garden. And he originally was applying for like, he tried to apply for access for cars and things because there was no um, off-road parking. And he managed to get all the neighbors, this was like 30 years ago, in um, well, like the late 80s, early 90s. He managed to get all the neighbors to agree to it bar one, which is infuriating. So that is why he, <laughs> he, put, he put the garage door and then everyone was like, yeah, okay, except for one person. And he was like, great, thanks. So did that for nothing. Um, there also used to be a shed here that was attached onto the back of the garage after they realised they weren't going to use this door. He put a shed on which collapsed like a year, two years ago, so we took it down and binned everything and, so really, and put it all in the skip and stuff. Turtles. Turtles in the half shell! Turtle power! Well, I think we're going to take that garage door off and close it all down a little bit because it's a bit shit. Great. Got the garage door fully open. It's looking bigger by the second. Don't know what you're sitting down for, you're not doing any fucking work. This is what we've got it looking like. There's now a clear walkway. So we started this at half past two this afternoon. It is now. 25 past eight. So it's taken us six hours. Six hours. Yeah. Now we're ready. Let me go back. So we've got all this clear. That just needs to go. And we've got all this clear. That's all the rubbish outside. Um, this is all the wood we've salvaged that we can potentially use. And this is what we're looking like for the bar. Dun, 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 dun. We found these little paw prints. Aren't they cute? There's some more. There's one there. Where are the others? Ah, oh, and here. Um, so, not sure why they stopped there, but it's probably where my dad booted it straight back out here and over that fence. Terrifying creepy doll. Satanically underlit. Day one. Day one. Okay, we're done now. We're done, done. Um, we've just got some bits. It looks more on my phone. It's not a lot, just some bits of sort. This is it, day one. Mm. Very tired. No, you're not, you haven't done anything. Easy. Yeah, same actually. It's now, what time are we? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yeah. But for a first day, considering we couldn't even fucking get in here this morning, 
is it's taken us about six and a half hours. Hopefully in the week after we finish work, maybe, if we're not too tired, yeah. we can try and make a little start on some of the shitty bits. This area. Under here, yeah, um, get rid of that. Okay. Hopefully that'll be all right. So that was day one. And I think we did a really good job considering. We did. I think, yeah, I think I said, but I think we started at two o'clock in the afternoon, finished about nine. But as you can tell, we, like, we couldn't even get in there. And considering the look of it now, how much space is there, we've, we've done quite, quite a lot, I think. Yeah, we did. So we had basically cleared the whole thing out. The only thing left in there was some wood that we thought we might be able to use mm -hmm. or like repurpose, some bits to sell and a load of tools that we found as well, which again, may be helpful, may not be but handy to have. It is day two, and this is, we're back where we left off last night, really. We've opened that up again. Glenda's just taking the cupboard doors off. As you can see, he's just started. And I don't know what the plan is for today because we've not long got in from work. Glenda wants to rip everything at this out. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I think we'll get a good size of it done, but you know me, I'm ever the, what's the opposite of an optimist? Pessimist, ever the pessimist. So we've been at it for like an hour. Um, this is our progress so far. Glenn was trying to fanny around, like trying to like pull things off and looking for screwdrivers. So I literally ripped the fucking thing out there. Glenn's gone to go get some tools so we can disconnect the water from under here. Um, so that we can take this unit out. There's my finger there, that unit out. And then we're gonna try and take this unit out. And then hopefully the shelves can go, these shelves can go, and this cupboard can go. Pretending to look busy. So upset. Why? So angry. What? And also, I think, well, Glenn's looking at getting French doors put in here. I don't know if that's gonna materialize, but maybe we'll see. He's back. Are you happy? Oh, there he goes. As if I caught you doing some work on camera. Linda just said, should I get this on video? And it's because I was fucking at it with a lump hammer. I made it fall off and then either going, oh yeah, you fit. Should we film this bit then? The Sue looks all big and macho. I right, fucked it. Have you got any glue? Ta -da -da. Spider there. Ah, you're a bastard. Basically, I'm going to show you some of our incoming water supply and the incoming electrics as well, which you probably really don't care about, but I'm going to show you anyway. So this is our incoming water supply, which I've, this is just stopcock, disconnected. So that's free for when we're ready to plumb in what we want. And this other blue cable thing coming from down here, is our incoming electric supply. Now, I don't know if you can see, but it's a rather small cable. So that does pose a problem because 
Um, we might want to run fridges and all sorts coming in here with lights, sound system and everything else. So um, it's not the worst thing in the world. We're hoping Greg's just on his phone to, to his dad at the moment who built the um, garage. So we're just going to try and see if we can put another cable through. I think it's Greg's uncle as well who is an electrician. He could probably be a little bit more of help. So we're going to contact him as well and see what he can do. So this is all that's left at the end of day two. Day two. Um, I don't know why you're acting so like Shattered? exhausted for. You don't know anything. Okay. I don't know. That makes it look like that kind of shows the size a bit more. If I zoom out. So we're leaving this counter situation because this is stuff that we want to keep either to like repurpose. Yeah, there's some tools in there. It's stuff to like repurpose for the bar when we've made it. Um, some other, you know, bits and bobs. Um, we've got some tools here. Um, this is all the wood we're hoping to put to some use to some degree because we want to cut costs a little bit. And yeah, other than that, we've got all of these units out today and the sink and everything. So the sink blocked off. I think it's a pretty fucking productive day, bub. Mm. Like, it looks so big from here. There's not really much more we can do in here now before we start doing the windows and doors, isn't it? Yeah. That's like the next step for it in start, well. Garage door off, the patio, door's in. Yes, apparently. Well, I think it'd be better. I think it'd be better, but. No, let us know in the comments, what do you think we should do with it? Brick wall. Well, well I think French door. doors are good, but the people in the comments aren't paying for it, are they? So, unless they want to, it's paypal.com forward slash Charmaine DW. I'll sing it one last time for... God, I could do a cartwheel in here if I could do cartwheels. There's so much more room for activities. There is so much more room for activities. And I really honestly did not. I thought that this was going to take the longest time. Charmaine normally sleeps for 12 hours. That's very rude. I do. Don't out me like that. I honestly thought that this was going to take the longest to do. I thought that this was going to take, that like to clear it alone was going to take us like a week or two. Maybe what the spit shine can do. There's nothing here a little spit shine wouldn't fix. Spit shine! Spit shine! <laughs> what? Is that from something? It's um, Looney Tunes. Oh, is that? Um, okay. Um, and the, um, I haven't seen that since I was eight because I'm not a child. The, um, Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the space jam. It's your time to jam. Those deliriums obviously set in. I couldn't even say delirium, right? So, end of day two. Um, now it's a lot bigger. We got the kitchen out. We got all those units out. We got all the old paint out. It was disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was quite rough. It was horrible. I managed to get that shelf out because it was really annoying me. It now looks a whole lot bigger. We could start seeing the actual area of the space we wanted to use and potentially like start planning and like, oh, what can we do there? Should we push, should we get the bar? What it is crazy do? how much it like opened out once we got rid of yeah. all that. I didn't realize that we were gonna get it done so quickly. I thought that that to clear it alone was going to take us, you know, a good month. Um, I did not realize we were gonna get it done in two days. So then our next step was to start thinking about windows and doors, which as you'll see in the next episode happened all a lot sooner than we were planning to. Um, I did actually source some pretty bloody quickly, which was unexpected. So a little bit of exciting news is that last night I drove to Weymouth. Um, day is now Thursday. Tuesday night, Glenn managed to find some windows going. One that fit our front big window perfectly and one for one of the little windows. It's about a 40 minute drive away, but the woman, I was asking for 30 pound for them each um, on their offer and I said, we well, take 50 for the turn. She was like, yeah, here they are. Let me see. Dad was saying that to fit, to find a window for this one alone, it would be about three to 400 pounds. And I got it for 25 quid. So um, he was he was quite happy to take me <laughs> over to Weymouth to pick them up um, to save um, quite a lot of money. So today we're just Glenn scraping 
all the dead outside ivy off, I'm making a start on the fresh green ivy. So I'll put a clip in of what it looked like before and then I'll show you what it looks like after. So it's quite dark out, it's like, it's half past 10. Um, I, well, I took the ivy off. Glenn did all the scraping here, all the noisy, difficult part. Um, there and round the side also, but it's too dark, you can't see. Um, so we did that and then I used a pitchfork to dig up some of the bigger roots along here, and a few bits over here, and um, Glenn did all the hard work of <laughs> having to rip them out still. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's done. And um, we're hoping, because a lot of this, I didn't realise like ivy left like little tendrils, is that what you call them? I don't know. Um, so we've tried scraping them, but hopefully that's gonna come off a lot more. We're gonna jet wash it. And that's it for, well, our third day of working on it. So that was the end of day three. Well, the third day of working on it, which, um, we kind of didn't want to get stuck too much in a rut because we were kind of still trying to source windows and doors at the time. So we were still trying to do bits to it when we were yeah. trying, like doing, we thought the ivy needs to come off at some point, we'll take the ivy off, we'll do something to keep the momentum going. Yeah, we were still quite excited by this point as yeah. well, weren't we? Like, <laughs> you said that like we are now. We are excited, yes, but as with every project, it has its ups and downs. So I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Um, catch us on the next one, episode two, where we will be installing the windows and doors. If you want a little spoiler of that, make sure to go follow us over at Finding the G Spot on Instagram. And here are the links for our other socials as well. So we may have started this in July, but it is now October, which means it is the start of the spooky season. And if you haven't seen already, Glenda and I feature in Novimpia's, that's a debut. <laughs> Debut. 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 Feature length film. Hoax. Which will be out. Uh, the 30th. 30th. So that was a little shameless plug. And also, hopefully, by now, The Grim Tour Part 2 will already be out on their channel as well. So make sure you go give that a look. Like, thumbs up. View. Subscribe. Follow. Tweet me. I don't use Twitter. Like me, that's the thing. No, don't say click me. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Bye.